Welcome to the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. We discuss six questions in nine minutes because leaders know how to be concise. Let's go ahead and jump right to it with our guest today. First question. In a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Well, hello, Sean. It's good to see you. Good to, good to meet you. My name's Ron Bush. I'm president of Ron Bush Consulting Incorporated. We help businesses protect their company's data thereby protecting their company's reputation, their employees and their clients or customers, and by helping them manage their cybersecurity risk. We do it through education and training of all stakeholders from all employees to C-level management and even the board of directors or, and help all of them learn best practices. Wow, that's a much needed service these days, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is, thank you. Absolutely. Question number two, what is the best thing about working with a team? Well, it's the only way to accomplish important things. Cybersecurity is all about teamwork. If the top of the company's hierarchy isn't endorsing and practicing the changes that they need to be doing to protect the company, then none of the employees will regard those best practices as necessary. Mm. It's the leaders that lead uh, and followers follow, but if they don't have anyone to follow, they just kind of congregate. Cybersecurity only works when everyone plays on the same team. So no bench warmers, no fans, just players on the same team. Great insights. I like that. Question number three, I hear from other leaders of teams that it can be a challenge to get team members engaged. Tell us your thoughts. Well, sure. It is always a challenge to get everyone pulling the same direction at the same time. We're all individuals by nature and celebrate our uniqueness. But teams can accomplish so much more than any one individual that the effort to bring everyone to the same goal, the same focus, the same passion for success, it's worth it. Does it take work? Sure, anything worthwhile does. I like that comment a lot because you're right. It is a little more effort to really work on engagement, but it is absolutely worth it. Question number four, what other piece of advice do you have for leaders of teams? Well, I'd start with the words of Winston Churchill, never give up. Uh, every leader has dark days, times when they want to give up and go their own way, but you can't do that because if you believe in the goal and you shouldn't be leading if you don't believe in the goal, mm -hmm. then you can't quit until you reach that goal. So never give up. I like that. Very inspirational. Question number five, what other successful leaders of teams would you like to recognize that have had a positive influence in your life? You know, I, I appreciate that question. I thought about that um, considerably. I read a lot of books. I read about 100 books a year. And so uh, the, a lot of them are on leadership. They aren't all. I read history and business and you name it. But I... Uh, I suppose that, that I'd have to go to people like Zig Ziglar, uh, people like Tommy Hopkins, he's in sales management, um, Seth Rogen, um, Simon Sinek, those kind of guys, um, they, they, well, they motivate. They motivate me to do what I do. That's great. I appreciate you recognizing those individuals. I share that same belief that there's a lot of motivation when you can read about other people's success stories and, and whatnot. So thank you for recognizing them. Last question, tell us about your first job. <laughs> well, it was a pretty humble beginnings. When I was 14, I, I wasn't a Boy Scout, so I don't know now why I got the magazine Boy's Life. It was a scouting magazine, mm -hmm. but they had an ad in the back and they had a lot of ads. They had jokes in there. That's probably why I got the magazine. <laughs> But uh, one was on Heden Camp Gifts. So my very first job, uh, of course, I all growing up, I had chores around the house. Mm -hmm. Some I got paid for. Most I didn't uh, because you were just expected to do what, what you were given to do. Right. But 14, I started out selling Heden Camp Gifts door to door. I wasn't very good at it. Um, after that, when I was 15, uh, there was a stop and go store, a convenient little convenience market across the, hot, the, the street from the high school I attended. And I opened, uh, the gentleman that managed it or owned the franchise, whatever it was, had a terrible time getting up in the morning. So I, I got over there. I've always been a morning person. I went over and opened the store, uh, stocked the shelves, got everything going. And then he came in and I went to school. 
it, it wasn't until I was, uh, I was 17 probably. And I, uh, and I started working, I worked all kinds of jobs, um, doing just about everything. Uh, it wasn't until I was 30 that I got into uh, IT. It was called DP back then, data processing. So um, I got into that and that kind of, uh, you know, it, it's all history after that. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that story. I always love hearing about uh, that first experience in the workforce and some, it was an entrepreneurial endeavor. So thank you for sharing that. And thank you also, Ron, for being on the podcast today. How can people find you? Well, thank you for asking. Uh, my website's the best place, ronbushconsulting.com. Um, they, uh, they can go to the website. They can email me at, ron, at ronbushconsulting.com. I like to keep things simple. Uh, IT and cybersecurity are complicated enough as it is. So <laughs> Ron's three letters, R-O-N, Bush 4, B-U-S-H, consulting. And uh, website or email will get you to me. That's the best way. I'm on the phone a lot. And, uh, and emails are a lot easier to respond to. That sounds great. I, uh, I share your enthusiasm for simple ways of doing things, especially with IT. So. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. This is Sean Richards with the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. For more ideas on engagement, you can go to teamengagementpodcast.com and download an engagement booster tip sheet. Again, that's teamengagementpodcast.com. Thanks so much for joining us and have a great day.